Hi everybody. Today I would like to speak about two points, Lingu and Dabai. Lingu 2205 and Dabai 2204. Those two points are very common in Mastodong acupuncture. These points are located on the dorsal side of the hand and Lingu is located in the junction of the first and the second metacarpal here, okay? Dabai is located about Hatsun distal to Lingu, okay? Those Two points are on the large intestine and Yang Ming Meridian. Yang Ming Meridian is abundant with qi and blood. It's full of qi and blood. Therefore, Lingu and Dabai can influence qi and blood. They function in supporting and moving qi and blood. So when we use Lingu and Dabai, we can think of mirroring. Mirroring is an option to explain the point functions. So if I mirror Lingu and Dabai, I can say that here is my head, this is my hand, my shoulder, and this is the arm, and here I have the legs, this is the hip and the foot. So Lingu and Dabai sits on my torso area, okay? And I can think of Lingu and Dabai, for example, to treat back pain, the whole back or the lower back. If we think of Lingu and Dabai in treating sciatica, why does it treat sciatica? It treats sciatica since this is my leg and here is the hip. So Lingu is in the junction around gallbladder 30. So Lingu can treat sciatica pain. Usually we add Dabai as a dauma to strengthen the function of, of those points, of these points. So, Lingu and Dabai can treat back pain, can treat lower and upper back pain. Upper back pain since Dabai is more on the upper jaw next to my shoulder. Dabai is also in the area of my lungs since it's in the chest, it can treat lung disorders, let's say cough, let's say a common cold, nose issues, a sinusitis. So Dabai will be more for lung. I would say also the name of Dabai, Great White. Bai is white and the white is the color of the metal. So, in a, if we want to understand more of this function, we can image our fist differently. Let's say this is my image now, okay? And this is the nose. And since this is the nose, these will be the eyes, okay? So, Dabai, which is located here in the area of uh, large intestine 4, large intestine meridian, this will resemble my lateral side of my face, meaning that Lingu and Dabai will be good for what? For migraine, for headache, okay? For TMJ pain, for uh, jaw pain, okay? For any kind of a problem, ear pain, okay, in my lateral side of my head, okay? 
Remember that we were told that large intestine 4 is good for teeth, okay? For teeth pain. So we can also think about it as the area that treating here, my, my mouth, okay? Um, another image of uh, Lingu and uh, Dabai would be if I see here, this will be my eyes and here will be my mouth. So Dabai can also be good for what? For eye problems, eyes let's say eye, ticks in the eye, let's say ticks in the eyes. So Dabai can be one of my uh, choosing point for ticks. I will use it with moo points. Okay, usually I will use it with moo points. I have a very good success at treating eye ticks with these two points. Of course, I add another other points, but those are the major points that I repeat each time I have ticks. Usually me, I use these points on the same side of the ticks. I know that when we treat pain, usually we choose the opposite side of our pain. We choose the healthy side for treating pain with Lingu and Dabai. But for eye ticks, I usually choose the same side of the ticks. Lingu and Dabai can be also good for many, many women disorders, mostly, let's say, for dysmenorrhea. I can choose Lingu and Dabai for painful menstruation or even to bring menstruation. Lingu and Dabai with liver 2 and liver 3 on the opposite side and we can choose it with chong mai okay so we have a cross chong and a course of lingu dabai and large uh, and liver two and liver three how do we puncture so when we puncture lingu and dabai i usually find the area of the junction between the first and the meta and the second metacarpal junction and we puncture okay and thereby will be soon distal So this is Lingu and Dabai, okay? Lingu and Dabai, 22.04 and 22.05.